So it's Sunday morning and I'm getting my day going. And unfortunately today is one of those days that I'm actually suffering from adhesion pain. With the weather getting cooler, I'm starting to have more and more problems. Because as I've explained before, your adhesions are scar tissue, like bands of scar tissue. It's easier in the summertime because it's hot. When the winter comes around and it gets cooler, my insides get cooler. So even though I'm alive and moving around, my body definitely reacts to the weather. So I'm really going through it right now. But I wanted this to be as realistic as possible. A lot of y'all have asked me about a day in the life. What do you do in the day? What do you do on this day? How do you do this? So this is me trying to do that. It's very, it's something that's kind of foreign to me. I've done like quick reels, but yeah, nothing like this. I just finished my morning routine, you know, my face, brushing my teeth, did my hair, got dressed, and now it's time for me to do my stretches. Now this is something I do every day. I drink a lot of water to try to keep things moving, and I just go with the motions. I do whatever my body tells me to do. Usually in the past, when I would have adhesion problems, I would just ball up in a small knot and stay in the bed for days. And sometimes those days turned into weeks. And I just got worse and worse and worse over time. So I noticed that if I'm just constantly moving, within reason, don't overdo it. Obviously you can still get hurt. But if I'm constantly moving and sticking to a routine and doing these same things to my body, my body works in my favor and the adhesions don't take control of me. Now, with that being said, you do need to rest. So make sure you're resting still, but drink a lot of water, drink a lot of natural juices that help get your body going, and just stick to a healthy routine. I like doing the vacuums because, especially when I'm bloated or when I'm swollen and irritated, the vacuums kind of force everything like, oh shoot, I'm not supposed to be here. So that's what it does for me. It helps with digestion. It just, and it helps keep your waist small too.
Because it takes a lot out of me to do my stretches. But now it's time for me to go get a snack and some coffee. Because we got to go to the gym. So even though I'm not feeling my best, I'm still going to stick to my routine. Because I noticed that movement helps me. I already had some vegan eggs prepped because I like to prep in advance so that I'm not spending all my time in the kitchen. So I made us uh, some quick breakfast sandwiches. So just some vegan spinach, cheese, egg sandwiches and our coffee. And we're gonna fuel up really fast and then head out to the gym. But we typically don't eat a whole lot before the gym, but you're not supposed to work out with that fuel. So this is just like something light for us to just fuel up before we go to the gym, but then we'll load up after the gym. So this is a little snack. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we finished our breakfast, loaded up, and now we're at the gym, about to go inside and get a quick workout in. So since it's Sunday, we just do whatever we wanna do. We typically just work on our own individual goals. So this is like a free day, if you will. I'm gonna be mainly focusing on cardio and then sweating it out in the sauna. Marcus is gonna be doing his chest stuff. What up? Hey. About to get it in. Yes, oh, he's so, he's so fine, that's my boyfriend. Okay, that's my husband, but anyway, it just it's just like, more fun when I say boyfriend. All right, y'all, but I'm about to go inside and get my my little thickness in, work on my little, the little waist right here. And not too much though, cause I told y'all I'm having a flare up and I'm struggling today. After this, we're gonna go home, refuel, cause I gotta feed him, he be hungry. Go home, <laughs> um, refuel, and then I'm gonna prep dinner. Um, I actually marinated some soy curls because we're having street tacos today. I know it's going to be good because I made a really bomb marinade. And if y'all want that recipe, y'all going to have to let me know down below. We're going to get this gym done, sweat it out, earn our refuel. Because I think I want a smoothie bowl after this. I've been on like a smoothie bowl kick for some reason. I don't know. I've just been craving them a lot. And they've been hitting all different flavors. Probably because my body knows that summer's leaving. And because it's November in Texas and today is 80 degrees. so. My body knows that we're not going to have this for long because when it get cold here, it get cold. And then after that, I'm going to film a little bit more content. Oh, yeah, we have to go to the store and then and watch, some football. watch some football because do we talk about football. I don't necessarily want to talk about it because no. of what's going on. No, I mean, I'm going to watch, but it's not worth talking about. It ain't. We got to wait and see. People might actually unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> well we're not gonna talk about football but we're gonna watch some football it's a lot going on with our team cook unwind speaking of unwind i'm probably gonna have me a glass of wine while i get ready for the week but i'll see y'all in a minute I got... wine and have a, bubble bath. a bubble bath actually i do need a bubble bath to help with what i got going on and i'm probably gonna have the wine in the bubble bath yeah, this, okay, let me hurry up because I want the bubble bath now.
they do have tasters. Taste it, baby. Okay. We just got back from the gym and I had a smoothie bowl and now we're taking our sweet boy for a walk. Um, it feels really good outside. It's November in Texas and it feels like this. So we're trying to take advantage before it gets cold. But after this, we're going to go home, watch the game. <laughs> I'm not going to speak too much on it, but we're going to watch the game. And then I'm going to make us a quick chicken and kale salad for lunch. Um, and then I'll get dinner prepped. But so far today has been kind of, I guess, rushed. But I'm trying not to overthink it because I don't like when things don't go according to plan. But I noticed that life is unpredictable and not everything is going to always go according to plan. So I'm trying to roll with the punches and not overthink or stress about it. Um, now at the gym, I did have to leave. I know you guys saw me on the stair climber, right? Before I went to the sauna. Well, what you didn't see is that I actually had to stop on the stair climber because since I have the adhesions, they're giving me such a hard time. And so I had to take a break from the stair climber and move to the treadmill for a little bit. Cause the stair climber, when it comes to this time of year and when my adhesions start acting up, I get in a lot of pain. And instead of forcing my body to do things that I know it physically is not capable of doing in the moment, I'm just listening to it and I let it do what it wants to do. So note, Listen to your body and let it do what it needs to do. Is that heads up? I thought it was a, a um, quarter on heads, but it was a Chuck E. Cheese coin. I didn't even know they still made those. The sweetest boy. Come on, quit sniffing other dogs pee. I feel like we need to stay straight this time because the sun is nice. Hendrix, I hear you, mouth breather. Look over there, Daddy. Hey, sweet boy. Hendrix, don't be pooping out here. I don't feel like handling your poop. Oh, look at that grass. This the grass you lay in. Oh, they got some nice grass. Let's touch it. Oh no, never mind. I feel like a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, why it look like that? It looks like it's nice. Oh no, that's Christmas tree grass.
vegetables to pack up tonight, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack them up before I start dinner because after I cook dinner, I'm gonna be ready for bed, so. This table used to be so nice. <laughs> before we started doing orders on this table, now it's not nice anymore. And now, we wrap up the jars. He wants to be wherever I am, whatever room I'm in. <laughs> now we probably don't have to do this but it's an extra precaution because when we were selling the cheese the first time broken jars was just the bane of our existence and we ain't about to be having no broken jars so and i've had people complain that oh it's hard to get into the boxes they're secure you're gonna get in it and it's gonna be intact Oh, you thought that that was it? I ain't replacing no broken jars. Did you subscribe to my channel? You see how hard I work? Help me in poor. Cancel, I'm not poor. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification button so you'll be notified when I upload videos. But let me finish packaging this and I'll meet you in the kitchen because I still got to cook dinner. <laughs> Who said we wanted to be grown up? All right, y'all. So now I'm making dinner and I'm just going to do some simple street tacos. I have some soy curls that I seasoned and marinated yesterday. And so they're just, they just been chilling in the marinade for about a day or so, about 24 hours. I got some garlic in there, onions, dried peppers. And now I'm just prepping like a quick pico. So I've already diced up some tomatoes, dice up the rest of them. And then I'm just gonna add some onion, cilantro, and a squeeze of lemon because I don't have any lime. So gotta do lemon, which is fine. Okay, so the whole plant is edible, y'all. You ain't gotta waste food by, oh, I'm not gonna eat the stems. It, the whole plant is edible, so. I don't waste food in this house, ever. This is another one of those things that I didn't like until I became vegan, because it used to taste like soap to me. But now I love cilantro. Imagine being a whole Latina not liking cilantro. Like, yeah. Now I, I'm gonna use the whole onion, but only part of it for the little pico and the other is just for extra toppings. Cause my kids, all of my kids except for one likes onions. And that one actually likes onions too. He just likes them cooked. Babe. Why you food? Get out my business. They didn't even need to know this.
right, y'all, so that was a day in my life. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. But I'm about to finish off this wine and go take me a bubble bath so I can lay up with my man. I'm tired. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy your week. If there's anything that y'all do differently on your Sunday, let me know. I want to know how y'all spend y'all Sunday because my Sundays be usually really chill. Do you work out on Sundays? Because that's commitment right there. I ain't gonna lie. My adhesions were giving me the blues. And usually when I'm going through something like that, I do the opposite. So I feel like, like I told you earlier, movement is key, but also listen to your body. But bye y'all. Where y'all going? <laughs> <laughs> you better be happy tomorrow, stop. Where y'all going?